Are there zombies outside? No. <laughs> Do you know what day it is? It's surgery day. I'm not gonna smile about it, I'm not gonna laugh about it. I'm just gonna be scared, so I might as well look on the positive. And really, from my point of view, I'm not even gonna know what's happening. In fact, from my point of view, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of time travel into the future. I mean, think about it this way. Think about when you were a little kid. I'm gonna go to the hospital. They're gonna, you know, put the IV in and say, count back from nine, here. And then I'm gonna wake up and it's gonna be hours later. You know, whole day is gonna go by and I'm gonna have new hardware in my back. I'm gonna have an upgrade. How cool is that, you know what I mean? But really, it, it's, it's kind of like time travel. Like I said, when you were a kid and you went to uh, relative's house, birthday party, whatever, and I remember when I, I would do that, we would come home from a birthday party and I'd be in the back seat of the car, you watch the lights, the street lights go by and it, they would make shadows inside the car between the windshield, the roof of the car and the, the back windshield. And you would just get like hypnotized by that and then you start dozing off and by the time you woke up, usually my dad was carrying me into bed or as I got older, he was dragging me up the stairs. But that whole time period from when we left to when we got home, it just disappeared. It was an instant. So it was kind of like time, at least the closest that I'm ever going to get to time travel, you know, into the future. So that's pretty, that's something to look forward to. Now I'm kind of curious too if um, I'm going to dream one uh, under the anesthesia. I'm not too sure. I really don't know. If I do, you're going to hear a groggy Chris talking about whatever I heard or dreamt. In all honesty, I kind of want to watch the movie Awake. I think it's Awake. You know, where he has surgery. And I think they try to... Well, I don't want to give it away. But the previews, he's like awake for the surgery. You know, conscious at least. But it's a pretty good movie. I kind of want to wait, watch it. I mean, I don't know. It's kind of relative to what's going on, right? All right, I can't goof around too much longer. We got to get going as I look at my imaginary watch because oh I gotta take this off too I gotta take no I gotta take that I gotta take everything off no metal at all no piercings not that I have any but we gotta get going we gotta go to I gotta go for surgery so this is gonna probably be the most normal part of today's vlog is it is and hopefully I'm this energetic cheery and happy you know afterwards so I'm gonna see you um well in a couple hours Thing. You gotta like be naked underneath it? Come on. It's a movie. <laughs> they had to take blood to get my blood tight. I passed out. <laughs> I want some water, something. Pain-wise, I mean, they got me on meds, but I'm just sore, just sore. Like the feeling of, I want an ice pack. I don't really remember that much. I remember going into the OR and... Have a nurse in the desk for a witness, please. I remember going into the OR and then waking up in recovery. I kind of think they don't did. I don't think they did the surgery. I think this is all a, all a joke. Yeah. Are there zombies outside? No. Twenty eight days later. <laughs> right. Time travel done. I didn't dream. I don't remember dreaming. Did I already say I remember the OR? And then waking up? Yeah, I did. I did. Oh, man.